G'day guys, I'm here with the WL Toys W12 speedboat here. Uh, this one is powered by a 390 brush motor. I've had this one for about a year now. And uh, originally came with a uh, lithium ion pack, about 12 to 1500 milliamp hours. But today I'm going to run this on a 2S LiPo. I haven't tried it on a 2S LiPo yet. And uh, take it around this pond here. So, um, I'll show you the inside of this boat. It only comes with one canopy, just the cosmetic canopy. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a second one, which would have been a bit better. But uh, there it is there, guys. There's the 2S LiPo that I'm using. It's actually out of the XLF uh, F16 buggy. Okay, it's 1600 milliamp hour. It fits perfectly in the little uh, battery cage there. Now, to use uh, Dean's plug LiPos with this, you have to have one of these uh, mini Tamiya connectors there because uh, as you can see it comes with this connection for the ESC so you need to grab yourself some of these I've got a couple of them and uh, they connect straight up and that way you can connect it to the lipo battery there all right so anyway guys I'm going to uh, get this uh, ready and we'll take it for a spin So I've just tucked it in like that. Now with this uh, external cover here, there's a couple of tabs here on each side, just there, and the little hook. You gotta make sure these tabs are tucked inside this part of the boat here, because there are a couple of ridges on each side to make it sealed up rather properly. So you gotta uh, hear that click and then close that lever there. Okay, now it is bound. You can see here, I'm gonna see if there's a throttle trim on this one. I think that's just a throttle dual rate and a steering trim, all right. So we'll take off from here. Activate it in the water. There we go. Let's take it for a spin. All right, I'm going to check the trimmer here. Make sure it's riding straight. That seems pretty straight. So yeah, 2S LiPo. Really liven this one up compared to the lithium ion pack, that's for sure. Nice rooster tail out the back. Nearly got wet then. <laughs> Keep it on the water, over its own wake there. So yeah, this is a brushed boat guys, not brushless. It's a 390 powered brush. Same sort of motors that you get in the budget priced RC cars and trucks. So that was full throttle running. I believe this does have an alarm. I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, telemetry alarm, buzzer. So yeah, I haven't run this for a while guys, so I thought I'll... It was time to bring it out and test it out on a 2S LiPo. That's full lock to the right, full lock to the left. Very tight. Very tight turns on this one. Look at that. Nice rooster tail out the back there. Great day to go boating with the RC boats today. It's around 30 degrees Celsius today. 
nice and warm and sunny out here. Definitely approaching uh, summer now, which is ideal to run these boats in summertime. So I'm just going full throttle, guys. Send it out there a bit. Really good range on this one. I think this one, they claim 200 meters range, actually. Usually boats of this uh, price range around 50 bucks American. You know, the smaller ones especially, they're around uh, 100, 100 meters, 150 tops. Very sharp and direct turns on this control, really responsive. On what is a typical, you know, RC car controller from uh, WL Toys. It applies to this particular model of boat as well. Yeah, so for a big brushed, you know, or fairly big brushed uh, RC boat. This one is the same size in comparison to the Phelan FT12 brushless that I got. I'll bring that out here soon and uh, show you that one. I haven't ran that for a little while. But it's the same size as one of those in comparison. So you could say your mid-sized RC boats. So this one's only this one's only the price of those smaller ones, like the JGRC that I recently. Uh, made a video on the other day in the fail and they're all around 50 bucks and so is this one so you're better off Getting something like this definitely value for money Just skipping on the water pretty good there Still good pretty good power with this lipo Do some figure eights here before I bring it in. I won't let the battery go to dead flat. So she is slowing down there, and there is no alarm anyway, guys. I thought there was. Oh, yes, there is. Listen to that. So there is an alarm, and it was pretty much. Good timing there, I was talking about bringing it in, and uh, there goes the LiPo alarm. So it does have the alarm system, I'll just leave that there. So there you have it guys, that was out of a 1600 milliamp hour LiPo, uh, 2S LiPo, and uh, that's the sort of actual uh, times you're going to get. Running it pretty much, I was pretty much full throttle that 99% of the time there guys. So. Uh, now, a really good boat for the price, guys. This is around the $50, $55 US mark. And, uh, you know, when the sales are on, on these Chinese websites, you could probably get it for under $50, which is a bargain in my book. I really like this boat, guys. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. That is the WL Toys, WL912. I think it's 912 uh, it's labelled as, but it's also got W12 on here. So, uh that's it there guys, the uh, rather decent sized 390 brush powered boat from WL Toys. They're on a winner with this one, especially for the price. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button and also the notification bell. That way you'll be uh, informed every time I drop a new video. And feel free to like this uh, video and comment below. Do you own this uh, WL Toys W12 boat? Let me know, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I'm out of here now, and enjoy the hobby. Until next time, bye for now. Well, even though I said goodbye to you, I, I just opened up the boat, and just before I go, I just want to show you how dry inside this boat is. Uh, as you can see, there's no water on any of the components. 
there's just a little bit of water in the corner here a few droplets that's all there is guys and a bit of you know water when i opened up this canopy but yeah i mean for a boat that doesn't have a double canopy it's only got the cosmetic canopy here with a small seal here underneath that one this does stay rather dry which is pretty surprising i i couldn't remember if it were, uh when i reviewed this over a year ago whether it was full of water or not uh that jjrc Spectre boat had a bit of water in it and they only had one canopy as well. But uh, yeah, surprisingly, hardly any droplets of water in this one, which is awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy the hobby and I'll see you then. Bye for now.